my friends, I'm the vegan. I want to make a new combination today with walnuts and pineapples. And that is pretty rare because usually nuts and pineapples don't go together so nicely because they, somehow they seem to be um, yeah, not fitting. Um, they fall apart when you eat them together. But here I want to try something blending the walnuts with bananas in a banana cream. Here I have some overripe bananas, you see. They are okay. They look a little bit brown, but it's okay. Some walnuts, they are nice and light, so I don't need to soak them. They're not bitter. I tasted it. And together with the banana, <clears throat> to keep them light, yeah, I have a lemon here. A whole lemon. So, three ingredients for the banana cream, the walnut banana cream. And um, into the banana cream, I will put the pineapple. I'll show you in a moment. First the cream. I love the combinations of bananas and nuts. Yeah, they get, uh, this is a very nice um, combination because it is a little bit more heavy <clears throat> than just eating bananas. So it keeps a little bit longer and also gets this nice silky um, surface of yeah, the cream. So nuts and bananas are a special combination. <laughs> Still very very good and um, I can use them in the blender at least. Let's say the flavor now. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. There is this walnut background in the banana cream, and I will show you when I pour it over my um, pineapples and blueberries. This is my combination for today for my fruit salad and my breakfast smoothie bowl. Yeah, one pineapple, it was super ripe. I had to use it, and here, delicious. And blueberries, they are called blue crops. I had them from the farmer's market. That guy who has um, uh, blueberry fields not far from Berlin, yeah, I mean, two hours from Berlin, maybe. He always comes uh, from um, in the summer till, uh, till autumn, and the blueberries are now in season until September, <clears throat> and he has seven or eight different different kinds of blueberries. Explain me everything about it. When I asked him, he's a very nice person. It's an uh, organic farmer, and very loves very much his, his fruit and his dedication for blueberries. He's the best blueberries in Berlin, I say, and yeah, these are blue crops. Yeah. They all taste different. They have a different um, texture, they have flavors, sour, sweet, and so on. Many, many flavors. So here, this is my banana cream. And I will pour it over my, my pineapples and blueberries, you can see. I have this wonderful pineapple blueberry smoothie bowl. This is what I have for breakfast today. And I guess this will keep for some time, mostly due to the walnuts, but also the other fruits. Yeah, the, the pineapple and the bananas and the fiber and the blueberries all very well known for high being high in fiber. Fiber is that what makes everything healthy for digestion. Fat and sugar, yeah, they will get healthy uh, with the fiber together. Without the fiber, some only oil or only sugar just from the fruit away, that is really a problem, the problem for the body. This blood uh, sugar spikes in the blood, so high sugar and problems <coughs> with digestion. And so it's not very healthy, so better the whole food. The fiber is really the clue. Uh, and of course, animal-based. We should never have animal foods. That's not for human beings. Yeah, that's, that's really not healthy. And science knows that now. And we can say today, humans never needed to eat animals. We're just not designed for it. Health, health, health science, nutritional science has now been proved, uh, proven it very clearly. Any animal product is not good for us. Keep away from it. It's unhealthy and you don't need to harm any animal. Yeah. They have another soul. 
like we do and we don't need to steal their body. So enjoy a wonderful breakfast, happy vegan food and your life. So thanks for watching, kindly enjoy. Many of you want to subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube to have another recipe every single day and you can find me on Facebook too, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, everywhere. See you there.